In a series of booked out shows held over four days, South African Menswear Week achieved its goal with flying colors of being a world-class environment to promote menswear within Africa. Founder Ryan Beswick was proud of the exhibitors and the response. How important has design become in menswear fashion? There's a misconception that only women really take care of themselves and, and want to look good. Men want to buy nice clothes, but they don't know where to get them. They don't know what is out there. That's why this is such a growth area. The Fashion to Live For event included celebrities Rian Mansa and Sivan Gessi showcasing designer life jackets for the NSRI. Andrew, could you tell us how life jackets ended up on the runway? It's a fantastic initiative because, let's face it, life jackets are not really fashionable. But they're much like the seatbelts of the sea. You don't know when you're going to need them. And if you don't have a life jacket on and you really need it, you're in big trouble. So it's fantastic that this industry is getting behind awareness that people will wear life jackets when they're out on boats, when they're out paddling. It will just give them so much more chance of surviving when they really need it. One guy who always wears a life jacket, Rian, why did you decide to support this initiative? The NSRI is a legend institution in South Africa. It's done so much work for us and we've all crossed paths with them. I've spent a lot of time on the ocean and I know how valuable they are. It was a no-brainer for me to be here. Siv, comedians don't belong in the water. Actually, I played Western Province water polo and I never got out the pool like this. Listen, when I got the email for this initiative, I was there like a bear. Too many people are drowning with so unnecessarily. It's a life jacket, you know, it keeps people safe. It's like the condom of the water. <laughs> oh my goodness, you have to tell me the brief you got for this. Well, actually, it was not really the brief. The brief was like, do something interesting for menswear, for a life jacket to save lives. And we are specialized in women's wear, and it was for men's wear week. So we said, okay, well, that's a challenge. So we took on the challenge, and this is what you've got. You've got basically a sort of a bionic creatures from the sea attacked by a giant squid. And uh, provided this will be floating things, it may even save a life. Paledi Sehapo's Pulse Spring Summer collection with its high top sneakers took the sports lux trend into top gear, bringing a big statement to easy wearing men's fashion. I must say the models look on point. Can you tell me about the theme? Thank you if you think they do look on point. The theme for my Spring Summer 2015 collection is appropriately called Decadence. And you look at what Andres is wearing, striped pants for summer 2015 have become men's pivotal staple right now. And what I thought I should do, instead of doing the whole too much matchy matchy thing, I've decided to do the horizontal stripes on the bomber jacket, yeah? And the vertical stripes on the pants to give basically people an element of surprise. He wasn't done yet. For many observers, the real surprise was Paledi's introduction of lace into his range, arguably the boldest statement over the four days, and made with confidence. I see you've also incorporated lace in your designs. Oh yes indeed. Um, if you look at what's happening internationally when it comes to men's trends and what's unfolding on international runways, the whole translucent, alluring look has basically now moved from ladies and also into men. So men have been fashionably and significantly affected by that. And you look at what's happening internationally, Burberry Possum recently at London Men's Fashion Week, they've also incorporated lace. So it's very important as a designer to forecast, research, and incorporating what's happening internationally. Otherwise, you will lose. You have got to be able to beat your path through in this fashion industry. And hence, we see Frisco looking absolutely decadent in lace. Another favorite son of Africa, Latuma Ngokolo, recently won the 2015 Vogue Italia Scouting for Africa Prize to showcase his collections at the Palazzo Morando Show in Milan, Italy. Take us through your collection you're showcasing for SA Menswear Week. The collection that I'm showcasing titled Mdanam Koba is a celebration of dark, beautiful African skin. I use some of the skin tones from the models to contrast some of the colors that I technically use in my collection, like the yellows and the light blues and reds. When my models are wearing them, it sort of gives them a profound sort of look, which I like it and uh, it reflects my collection. So Jim, I see that the fabric is still on knitwear. Tell us more about the design and the manufacturing process. The patterns that are used in, this, in the collection are still the standard patterns that I use for my knitwear, which is basically traditional toss-up beadwork motifs and patterns, which I still modify and then refresh them into new patterns and then pair them up with the theme that I use for my collection. 
it still gives my knitwear a distinctive appeal which attracts people to it is the powerful selling element of my pieces so I cannot get my pieces out there without that aesthetic. You've been showcasing all over the world and now you're back home. What do you enjoy about being a part of events like this? To do fashion shows locally is always special for me because uh, I want to capture it in a way that they would understand it deeply because I showcase it to South Africans that know the Tosa people. So I use a lot of traditional um, elements like music and uh, also the stories and patterns around the knitwear which couples up to something that they're deeply into. Shown at the PT Uomo event in Italy, the range adds black and white patterns, reversible jerseys and joggers to his more familiar cardigans. The past three days I definitely say my favourite show has been La Duma. I love the reversible jerseys, I always love the way that he stays true to his Cosa prints and I dig his use of colour. I'm a firm favourite of La Duma because I actually grew up in the trans sky. So the whole Tosa thing, you know, and bringing that into contemporary fashion is really lovely. And it's a lovely exchange of heritage into high fashion. And, and I think in that, we, we're starting to have our own African fingerprint and we're starting to value what we've got. And uh, it just goes to prove that Africa is where it's at. It's just cool to actually just mix with a lot of really cool people wearing funky clothing and it's just a lot of fun. From high concept to ready to wear to scintillating evening creation, the event had them all covered, set a few trailblazing trends and did so African style.